Hi, I'm Tom Bancroft. You know me as the CEO of Pencilless Animation Studios. Thank you so much for following us here and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Today, this is a special behind the pencil. Uh, it's, uh, it's me drawing and uh, what I'm gonna be doing in this is taking you through step by step my sketch process of just creating a few of the sketch prompts throughout the Mermaid uh, drawing event. Many of you may not know this, but I'm the founder of the Mermaid drawing event. It's been going since 2016, I think about seven, eight years now. And uh, we have sponsorship and a contest and millions of people around the world take part. We even have a Mermaid China that runs sort of separately uh, in China on um, Billy Billy and um, Weibo and some of their uh, apps out there. Uh, really happy to be doing this. Uh, I love Mermaid because it, it, it encourages people around the world not only to draw together but to get better at their drawing skills by drawing every day and the subject just happens to be mermaids. So uh, I'm going to take you through a little sketch process. Uh, these drawings were then given over to uh, Kristen uh, Brashears, uh, who is a pencilish uh, employee, and she did the final color pieces for this. You're gonna see those when we post them onto Instagram uh, as Mermaid is unfolding. So these are just certain day prompts. And of course, I had to use the pencilish characters, uh, cause why not? So they're all mermaids now. Uh, and you'll see there were a couple times I forgot to stick the tail on cause I got a little too into the drawing prompts. <laughs> so. I hope you enjoy this. Let's get into it. So yeah, I'd already done a few. And so this is one that I did for the prompt, Hal Bailey, for as a little mermaid. There's one, Good Night. That one was upside down. And here's Star Wars. Here's one for, for food. I thought Tambo just wanting to have, you know, the mermaids enticing him with pizza, I thought would be funny. Uh, all right, so now here's me getting into the actual sketch process, unlike those first four. I already had done so this is me doing it uh, and this prompt is for heartbreak and so I wanted to do Murphy and because heartbreak I immediately thought of Murphy because in episode one he does have a heartbreak uh, uh, his girlfriend breaks up with him so this is me just going okay I want him to be looking at his phone in the foreground and then I hadn't quite figured out what I wanted in the background so as you can kind of see this is literally me just sort of making it up as I go, but knowing that I wanted to have a foreground, midground, background kind of a feel to this. So I kind of shoved them off to the right. I'm resizing things as I go and just trying to get them on model. And then and I know Kay's gonna follow up after this, so I'm just doing a quick sketch. She'll tie it down more and add color, making a pretty painting. But of course, he's in the city, so I knew I needed to have some background in the city, some kind of a city scene. And as I said, I really kind of forgot about it. I got so into the prompt and the storytelling and the composition, trying to figure out sort of what was all going on in the foreground, midground, and background, uh, that I started. Uh, I forgot to add the mermaid part of the thing because this is for mermaid and so really they should be underwater and he should be a mermaid too um so I as I drew in this girlfriend that you know I was thinking okay so he's doing a text and or reading a text probably and about to respond um but she probably broke up with him or whatever he's got a tear coming out of his eyes so he's got he's heartbroken and I thought, oh, I'll put in his girlfriend from that episode that breaks up, like as if she changed her mind, she's running back. But I should have put a tail on her, because she's supposed to be a mermaid. So I'm adjusting, trying to get her to feel like she's in that environment. Uh, but anyway, so storytelling wise, I thought it was fun. Uh, we did add the mermaid tail later. Um, Kay threw that in there. <laughs> so you'll see I did that a few times. So that was for heartbreak. On to the next one, I start thinking, okay, I want to do one with brain. So for this one, I, as I'm certain of trying to think of what the story is. So the prompt is for is horror um, and for May 15th. And I thought, okay, I want this one to be Murphy and the brain. So I had an idea. I thought, okay, I'm going to have him. It'll be Murphy, you know, like early in the morning. This is his daily routine of looking in the mirror right before he brushes his teeth. And so 
I kind of started with the mirror at a Dutch angle, again, to try and get that horror feel. Um, but all that information in the foreground of the toothpaste and two brushes to kind of let you know this isn't just a mirror in a kitchen or in a living room. This is the bathroom. So it's to play up that story of, okay, he's just got up in the morning. I even put his glasses on crooked. So this is him just sort of like he had a rough night, super tired. And the real gag here, and so I stuck him off to the left because the real gag here is going to be Brain and his reaction toward how bad Murphy looks. And as you can see, I'm resizing and moving things around. That works great in Photoshop because I'm putting it all in different layers. So I have my reference off to the left there of what Brain looks like because I don't draw them all the time. Um, <clears throat> I want to make sure that I kind of keep them on model. So yeah, this is Brain kind of coming up behind him and going, oh my gosh, what have you done to me? So again, <laughs> Brain should have a fin because <laughs> Brain should, you know, I'm trying to, that, the gag is um, because it's for mermaid, I'm put, making them all into mermaids, but I got so caught up in the storytelling, I keep forgetting. So we did add the tail later to this one. Uh, so when you see the final color post, it has a tail on brain. We'll just assume they're underwater. Next, I really wanted to do juju brain. I was dying to do a juju brain. So the word was sunrise, um, and this is for May 19th. And I thought, okay, what would be a fun thing? So to me, I thought, ah, oh, this is going to be a buddy picture. I really love juju brain's relationship with Chris, her best friend. And, you know, she's a talker, had to open that mouth. <laughs> so this is them. And again, I haven't drawn the background. I'm sort of just figuring out what I want to do. This is all being made up as I go. I love drawing like this where I'm sort of trying to figure out a picture. Um, and I'm trying to do foreground and midground background. That's really important to me in composition. And so I threw them off to the left as if they're in the foreground with the idea that they'd be looking at a sunset and so Juju is like pontificating about, you know, the future. You know, she's like, Chris, think of what it's going to be like. One day we'll be living together and, and we'll have jobs and, and you know, just probably in a, in a Winnebago driving across the country. <laughs> it's like them dreaming. Um, and you don't even need to see Chris because Juju is the big talker. Um, and so we can all imagine, you know, Chris is like, half asleep and I'm doing really quick selections here of just just to throw in a shadow um, and I put it on another layer and made it transparent and pulled down the opacity I think that was it I think that was sunrise If you like what you just saw, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, Pencilish Studios.